last time on Fistful of Duels. intro right but a hype intro for a hype night of fights uh i want to first off give a shout out to the man cool kid 94 for the awesome duels um it was a very very long night i had to chop up a lot of footage i think we got over 45 minutes of footage so i chopped it up got rid of all the extra stuff like the load time stuff like that and we just went straight into the fights The audio was non-existent because uh, we were playing over live and I didn't realize that you can basically hear him through the TV and we were just chatterboxing it up and it was going to be a, like a one-sided conversation. So I decided to go ahead and just basically mute it. But as you can see, that was pretty devastating. I got pretty much destroyed in the first match or the first official match of the night. Got pretty much smashed. Uh, wasn't really much I could do about it. Um, I got block broke. <laughs> Not much I could say about it, but you know, hit a little praise to Sun Action. Went back into it after the little pleasantries. Um, he had a new weapon, so I had to deal with that. Um, this was recorded the very night after uh, Fistful of Duels. I'm just a day late chopping it up. We recorded very late, um, around like nine something, nine thirty we ended. So I had to go to sleep for work. So I chopped it up. So it's like a day late, but still the same. We both came back with a bunch of different things. Like he had a couple new weapons. I upgraded some weapons and added some few spells here and there to try to throw him off his game. Had a nice little slash there. Nothing too special. Hit him with a little friendly bow. Then on to the next one. Alright, so... <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. Um, we started doing a lot of the same kind of things with the uh, gestures at the beginning of the battles. It was kind of funny. Like, you'll see it a couple of times. We'll end up hitting, like, the same kind of uh, gestures or the same style of gestures. It's pretty funny. He was, like, swinging for the fences with them dual daggers. Decided to switch it up a little bit, try out the force. I thought his uh, butcher's knife was very nice. Like you'll see him do some things with it later. As we started getting more comfortable. Did a couple of cancels. Trying to throw him off his rhythm a little bit. He wasn't having it. I'm pretty sure he was going for the backstab there. Tried to hit him with a little lightning. But he's kind of quick. His build is very fast. Catching him is very very aggravating <laughs> I 
Oh man, I was so scared for the backstab there. He got hip to my uh my little trickery. Filling each other out a little bit. Try a little overhead. I think I might use that a little bit too much. I'm going to try to uh, hold back on that. And then boom, out of nowhere. It was funny because in the live commentary that we were doing over live, he was saying, oh man, I, I thought it was like a force. <laughs> like I caught him completely off guard. He had no idea I had that spell. It was kind of a funny reaction. Now I wish I had my mic plugged up. So that you could hear the two-way conversation. And then I would have just left it at that. I wouldn't even did any uh, post-commentary or anything like that. I would have just let the commentary do itself. So back to the filling out process. I saw he had the bow drawn. I just tried to wait it out. He's very patient with his shots. Um, I think that's very, very nice. He basically interrupted my force. What I was trying to do there with the force was I was trying to hit him because I figured that my poise would eat through it, but it ended up knocking me down. Try to make something happen with that stab attack. I like that attack. It catches a lot of people off guard. I kept thinking that that was flame swath. So I kept trying to roll through it and kept getting hit by it. A little trade. His dodges were crazy. Like, I can't believe he dodged that one. Started messing around with the jumping attacks. I forget they exist. And then I just got caught right at the tip of the blade. So GG. Good match, good match. And again, we're going to hit with the bows and stuff. And the taunts. <laughs> He starts out with the range. I was going for a backstab there, but I got caught up in his foot. A few wild swings unlocked. A couple dodges here and there. Trying to throw him off. And that's the moment that I found out that you can combo off of force if you're fast enough. So you'll see me try to set that up a couple times. I was hoping that he get caught again by the force or emit force, should I say. Good dodges. And then I caught him. Um, he says he tried to dodge, but he thinks he dodged a little bit too late. But another good game, another good match. In this match, I started trying to utilize the shield bash. Maybe a little bit too much because <laughs> it pretty much got me destroyed. And then at this moment, I completely started to panic because I was like, uh, 
I'm down so much life. I don't I don't really know what I should do. And I did the force a little bit too late and got caught and dominated respectively. All right. So in this match, uh this match had a really cool finish, but I'll let you guys play it out. So I'll try to do some commentary up until the point. Um, you know, same stuff. Do our little pleasantries and then go straight into battle. There's a lot of smart stuff being done in this match by both of us. And I'll try to see if I can remember them and point them out. That one, I tried to clip him and then lock and then combo. But we traded and that messed that all up. <laughs> we we're both utilizing our jump attacks, which is kind of cool. Kept trying to punish him, but he's so damn quick. And right there, I thought I was using the uh, emit force, but I had force. <laughs> and I was like, oh, damn it. He poked me a couple times in the back. I was judging the distance of it a little bit wrong on the force. Right there, I was hoping he would roll forward so I can catch him with the force, but he didn't. And then that one, I tried to clip him again. Right here, hit me with a little combo with his daggers. Them things are so damn fast. And I thought it was over right there, but he still managed to dodge again. And then right here, the quick shield block. Like almost instantaneous. And then right here, boom! Like, that's why he's so dangerous because he's very patient on his shots. He picks his shots pretty well, unless he's trying to set you up for something. We had some pretty interesting conversations, though. I'm still kind of bummed out that uh, I didn't have my mic hooked up. Because it was pretty interesting. We were talking about a lot of different things. Um, it was very fun. He's a cool dude. But anyways, back to the fight. He opens up with range again. Which is a thing that I'm hoping to add to my build soon. I got hit with another damn backstab. <laughs> he took my life down. But this time I kept my composure a little bit. Um, I tried to throw out a desperation force emit. Emit force. And didn't really work. He smacked me out of it. But I'm hoping to get in range. And this this part right here is pretty funny. I, I'm pretty sure he tried to troll me <laughs> in real time. He's like, yeah, come on down. Let's fight here and be epic. <laughs> and then he sets me up with the flame. <laughs> and then I try to... I was like, oh no, I'm about to die. So I throw an attack out and he hits first and kills me. So that was pretty funny. And I fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. But it's all good. It was fun. This fight was very sick, man. Like, this was, like, one of my favorite fights. Um, they had a pretty epic back and forth. Um, and just showing how classy this guy is. He gives me a Black Knight sword. Just because. So, you know, thanks again, man, for that. <laughs> cool kid. He is a cool kid, so, you know. Hit our bows, and I try to utilize my second weapon, which I don't really use a lot because it gets me in a lot of trouble. I'm still trying to figure out how to use it, but it caught him off guard a couple of times, so I just have to, I just have to use it a little bit more, and get that experience on it, or I just might trade it in for something else, get a different weapon altogether. I was taking his life down, chipping him a little bit. And we had a few trades. And this is where things get kind of crazy. I let him get range. I throw out an emit force. He hits me twice and dodges. Then I try to get away and I get shot in the back. It was pretty epic, man. That was so sick. Like, I was, like, yelling all through the microphone. <laughs> but that was, like, one of the sickest moments. So 
So here's another one of those interesting matches that we had. Um, pretty much got stomped out. Just a little spoiler. <laughs> but it was pretty interesting because... Mainly because I kept my composure. Like, I have a really bad problem keeping my composure in this game for whatever reason. But I was basically fighting for my life. And I think I did some pretty interesting things. None of it paid off, unfortunately. But um, I'm trying to basically do that every time. To keep my composure and things like that. Like, that emit force got me set up with a backstab. Like, it's crazy, man. It was like a backstab clinic, like, pretty much all night. It was so frustrating. But I realized by watching it uh, last night before I went to sleep how I'm giving up my back. So I'm going to pretty much try to stop doing that altogether. Try to hit a few forces trying to set up a uh, attack. Uh, uh. <laughs> hit a few forces trying to set up an attack. Then I try to get him on the edge. Like that would have brought the fight back. So I was kind of sad that I missed that one. But he took like a step too late. And it missed. And then I got desperate and I wanted to hit him. And he got me with another backstab. And that was the end of that. In this battle, it was kind of funny how we started out. Like, I ended up praising the sun and he ended up taunting me. So it was kind of funny. We started getting, like, really comfortable <laughs> with the back and forth banter over Xbox Live. So he hits the cutthroat. And we go at it. And I utilized the uh, force stun finally. I finally managed to hit him flush and be close enough to follow up. But he hits this insane combo coming up. I poked him, which was kind of cool. I tried to use that a lot. It was really cool. And then he hits this combo out of nowhere. Like, three hit combo. That shit took a lot of life. So I had to back up a little bit. And then right there, I set him up with that lightning spear. Because I knew he would try to come in and be aggressive. So I threw it hoping. And he went for it. So I had that uh, R1 waiting for him. Now in this fight. We started uh, doing some pretty fun stuff. We started having a lot of fun. And cutting loose. And just trying some different things. Started taunting more. <laughs> Treating it like a fight. And... It was pretty interesting. I hit him with a couple of R R twos, which is kind of weird because they're so slow. But I guess I caught him off guard with it because I don't use it very much, or I use it in combos and not out of combos. So then we try the range battle, and then I just go all out with it. And I throw an emit force because I see him charging that bow up. And then I get the hit. This match was a lot of fun. I'm starting to notice before each match, I start doing the move. Like right there, I just shield bash for no reason before he came in. I started noticing that I... I pretty much utilize that move when I'm practicing it before the fight. It's kind of a little fun fact. But anyway, that's a foreshadow for later. So, we start squaring off. We're kind of gun shy a little bit. He hits me with, in the back with his dagger. I start trying to roll poke. Trying to catch him off guard, but him being so nimble. And he's using his power stance. You hit a few trades. And I hit that move. 
I gotta remember how to do that. I know it's a roll, but that might be a R2. And I hit with the shield, and I wait for him to roll away, and I try to catch him on the way out, and I do. So that was pretty dope. Now at this point, I'm riding a few wins, and I'm feeling a lot more comfortable. And then like out of nowhere, <laughs> cool kid decides to shut that shit down. And there was really not much I could do about it. But you can check it out here. So we're going at it. We're about to do our little pleasantries again. I'm taunting them. Feeling myself a little bit. I blocked the shot. And I catch him being aggressive. I try to roll away and he catches me with a backstab that all of a sudden just kills me. And I'm like, what the hell? Now, I never figured out why it was doing so much damage out of nowhere. Because if you check in the beginning of the fights, it wasn't doing that much damage. But then all of a sudden from that point out, I just started getting like basically one shot. Anytime he hit a backstab, it was instant death. But anyway, so I start using my uh, my pole arm, trying to see if I can make some different things happen. Try to throw him off a little bit. I luckily take a few steps to get away from that backstab that was impending. Start circling a little bit, try to shield up. I try to go for a backstab, but I didn't really get the op. And I'm lucky that he swung there because he could have got a repasse. But I just couldn't find the range with it. Like I know the range has a pretty good range. So I got tired of that. And ended up switching back to my sword. And it was crazy that I got hit by that because the tracking is serious. And I got him down pretty low. And I was like all I have to do is just hit him once. That was supposed to have been a, a mid force, but having a mid force and force on might be getting me in some trouble. So then I try to be really cool and I try to peep around the corner a little bit and nick him, but my cast time was throwing me off because it's it's much quicker than normal. Then we come back and we just start going on these dodging sprees. I was hoping to nick him on the way out, but he saw that coming. And that range on that fire. And he dodges my mid force. We start dodging around. I do a double roll. Something I don't usually do a lot. Just trying to set something up. Try some step backs. Double roll into a poke. <laughs> then I hit him. I switch, it, uh, switch up my halberd. And then I hit him finally. And I tried to nick him on the side, but I guess I took too many steps. But I couldn't hit him at all. <laughs> I couldn't hit him at all. And I had I started getting a feeling that he was going to try that backstab. So I was like, let me take my sword out, hit that trade, and just say, fuck it. <laughs> Once again in this fight, I got to tip my hats off. A cool kid because he did like one of the most epic finishers ever like pretty much trumps everything that i did all night so i hit him with a little wrestling a little wrestlemania stuff <laughs> and he starts trying to chuck some uh some urns at me he said he had something for me before the fight and he started throwing some urns I barely escaped that backstab. Dodge another urn. And I hit him with this nasty combo. But I get fucking careless. And just like that is how I saw that death. But that was fucking epic. And props to you infinitely for pulling that one off. So coming off that devastating loss, I knew I had to do something to tip the morale back in my favor. And I end up hitting this pretty epic uh, finish. So, you know, I hit him with the taunt. He hits me with the taunt. That's another instance where I was saying we do the same thing at the same time kind of thing. So 
I switch to my secondary. He tries out a whole new weapon that I haven't seen him use yet. And we basically have kind of the same moveset. But I do like his weapon better. Like, it just seems better to me. It seems a little bit faster also. So we're swinging around, trying to make something happen. I hit a few dodges. He catches me. I switch to the sword because I don't want to have any part of that. And then I pull this epic ass move pro style on him. A unlocked to a lock a mid force. Yeah. So here we are at the last fight of the night. Um, it didn't go how I wanted it to go. I hope that it would have went out in an epic fashion like most of the starting matches and the mid matches and the late matches. But unfortunately I didn't get what I wanted but it was still fun. Um, it was a nice match all together but I was just really hell bent on making something happen with the Halbert and it ended up getting me in trouble. So I think I'm going to end up retiring it but I'll let the video play out. And I'm going to go ahead and give a big shout out to Cool Kid. I can't wait to do the next one. Um, shout outs to the crew, Team ESA. Don't forget to follow me, you know, rate, subscribe, all that stuff, and leave comments. I really appreciate those. Um, also, follow me on Twitch, uh, Team underscore ESA, and you'll find us there. Um, I hope you guys had fun watching the video. I had fun making it. And, you know, stay tuned for the next one.